I cannot leave out the fact that this actually has hydraulic brakes and sub $800. Now, you're gonna find this some places for $799, $759, $739. That is ludicrous. What are we talking about? Spicy potatoes. That's what we're doing reviews on today. I don't even need to go inside to make my baked potato for lunch. I'm just gonna put it outside in the sun. 105 degrees. This is crazy talk. All right, I'm going to open this up. I don't know how much I'm going to sweat. I do apologize if you hand the, hear the fan, blades left and right. That's all that I got. That's not even on high. Just give me a break, okay? Let's open it up. Let's put it together. I am not going to take it out today. So if you see me and my outfit changes, it's because uh, I don't want to ride in this. Uh, so this is just a preface to any Chinese company. Jay, we want you to do a review. You're in Florida. It's beautiful weather. It is 105 degrees out. Just trying to find somewhere to stick my fingers. You know what I got my hands on too? What? A hus husty trusty. I think of Husky, I think of the old body me, remember? I'm standing here like this, I'm like, what's up guys? Got a bike review to do and some burritos. Uh, so I got a trusty, well it's not rusty, zip tie cutter. I'm gonna go ahead and put a review, actually not a review, I'm gonna put a link down below what I'm talking about. But this is it, let's get it. You see that one more time? What? So there's little tiny holes that those kind of drop into. Make sure those, those are locked in there just for that extra added support. Then to put the handlebars in, we're just going to kind of slide these in just like this. Close this. Snap this up. So in our first box, we have some pedals, collapsible jams, toolkit. I guess I can show you what's inside the toolkit. They all kind of have the same stuff in it. That typical yellow screwdriver, some Allen keys, a little wrench, charger, manual, some piece of paperwork that just tells me to stop, that if there's any issues, you call that. Do not return the product to the store. So this is, I just want to point this out before we go much further into this. This is a huge company. I mean, it is absolutely huge. They make so much stuff. Oh. That's a pretty nice display. Inside of the other box. What is this? Oh my, that is heavy. Um, this goes on the back of the seat, I would presume. Oh my. Got a little phone mount, bike mount, some crackhead zip ties. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, I thought that was an Allen key. I was saying, shit. This is a phenomenal bike lock. I have never seen anything like this. That is absolutely gnarly. Yeah, big ass Allen key set. That is pretty cool. So I think with all go tracks, get a little peripheral pouch. I'll show you how you attach this to the bike. 
I do apologize. I thought this was for a phone mount. That's actually end cap mirrors. Fascinating. So for our battery, you'll see we have 499 watt hours. We'll just round that up and say 500 at 10.4 amps, 48 volts. And with the charger, charges at two amps. So you're roughly sitting at five, six hours from fully dead. We're just going to say five hours, five times two, 10 amps, five hours to charge out from completely dead to full. Very large company, so keep in mind that display on this for the price point that this bike is at is going to be exquisite. Don't let that spoil you. These you'll typically find on scooters, so... Okay, once that's on, in order to take that off, you press, pull it up. And then you can, in fact, tighten this up so it doesn't move so much and you don't strip out that plastic. Tighten that up. Now, it won't move. Uh, of course. No, no labels. No one put you there. How do you know? Good. Yeah, there, there are labels on it. I, I, okay. If it wasn't for my trusty associate, I would have... Tried to thread that on for the next 30 minutes, only to find out that reading is fundamental. Very good. Easy breezy. So in order to turn this on, you do in fact have to put the key in, turn it that way, and then you're able to fire this up. Beautiful display, by the way. Beautiful display. Very clear. Looks like OLED. Let's just check these speeds real quick while we have it here. Looks like we cap out at 20, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to change that real quick. Uh-oh, 27, is that what that said? Very easy. 25. I'm going to hold those two down again. Maybe that's with pedal assist? Probably. I know I usually cover this on the final recap. I'm more shocked that this bike has hydraulic or mineral oil brakes and it's $799. That's under a thousand. I've only done one review of one e-bike that had hydraulic brakes and it was at $999. Okay, go tracks, high five. I'm going to get it. Let's bring it outside.
four it looks like. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mine over everything when i feel like this i'm immortal when i feel like this i'm immortal when i feel like Go tracks F2 2.0. Okay. I cannot leave out the fact that this actually has hydraulic brakes and sub $800. Now, you're going to find this some places for $799, $759, $739. That is ludicrous. What are we talking about? Okay. So much to talk about on this bike. First off, 750 watt rear motor, and it comes with an absurd amount of accessories and that's in my ears. You know, you, you've you got a phone holder, you've got bar end mirrors, out of the box, very easy to assemble. It wasn't in multiple pieces. And uh, again, I can't press that $800. To me, that's super fascinating. The display on this is fantastic. Got to 20 miles per hour just using the throttle. This has a cadence sensor, meaning that when you hit that 20 miles per hour, if you want to go a little bit faster, you just kind of move your feet. I, I couldn't get it past 24. For what this is, the pickup out of the box, fantastic. Let me give you some specs. 750 watt rear motor, 500 watt battery, seven speed Shimano 20, 180 millimeter front and rear disc brakes brand is irrelevant it doesn't matter front suspension it's it's not adjustable per se it's adjustable to where you can either adjust it to turn it on or turn it off there's there's no intermediate and again for under eight hundred dollars i don't know what else you're really expecting this bike far exceeds bikes that i've done reviews on that were foldable and cost fifteen hundred dollars and again the speed isn't 28 miles per hour but 20 miles per hour they're really pushing that whole class three okay you, you can't can't do 28 no matter what. I guess it falls between a class two and a class three because 20 miles per hour with that half twist throttle and then with the pedals, I got it to 24. I think I was pushing a little bit hard, but I don't know if you caught the sound of the motor when I was using it, love it. No suspension in the rear, and that's kind of what you would expect. Your braking is really good out of the box. You saw that, how quick I was able to stop. Very, very nice. And for what this is, I cannot complain. Let me show you how you fold this up. It's super simple.
I do want to mention this. GoTrax is one of those companies where a lot of people know this company. There's a couple of them, but there's a lot of these fly-by-night jams. This is not one of them. They have a large spread, and no, I'm not promoting it. They didn't pay me to do this video. They just sent this to me. You saw the stuff that was on the inside of that box? I know I already said it, the folding mirror. Did you see the lock? I thought that was an Allen key. I mean, for what you get inside of this, you're essentially saying your bike is $600. If I was to recommend this to you, if you're looking for something starter that can go up to speed, 20 miles per hour, this is the spot. This is where you want to be. Stay beautiful.